Starting Friday, Ohio restaurants can reopen outdoor dining, but not every restaurant has a patio. So the city of Cincinnati is shutting down some streets that will give those restaurants some space. And now city leaders want to take it a step further and they want to create an open container district. Reporter Marielle Carbone has more on this idea. It's being floated around right now by some council members and the idea would be to use the door or the designated outdoor refreshment area as a way to attract people to go support local restaurants and bars while also giving them room to social distance. Because of COVID-19. We have been doing more takeout service and more takeout drinks. Business is changing and some say more change like creating an open container district could be a good thing for OTR. More people will be like more open to going out and, and being outside, which is very important at this time, kind of bring a little bit more life into uh, the city during this time. It's called a Dora or designated outdoor refreshment area. The district would allow those 21 and over to purchase alcohol and drink it freely within the Dora boundaries. I like the concept a lot. Council member Chris Seelbach started the conversation with this Twitter poll asking if people would like to see a door in OTR. Right now, it's not on any upcoming city agendas, but a spokesperson for council member PG Sittenfeld's office says it's in the idea stage. <laughs> The council members aren't alone in their thinking. In Loveland this weekend, we can walk between businesses and pick up a beverage. The city opened up its door, bringing support to local restaurants. We do whatever we can to support. Under Ohio law, Cincinnati could have no more than two doors. Council would need to pass legislation to make it happen and adopt an ordinance that lays out boundaries, hours of operation, a sanitation plan, and more. It would bring more foot traffic to them as well and just kind of allow people to mill about and explore more. In OTR, Marielle Carbone, WCPO 9 News.